Good evening and welcome again to uh, Hymn Sing. I believe that we're on week number 28. It is hard to believe that we've been uh, sharing this time together with you that long, but it's been a joy each and every week to bring these great gospel hymns and songs to you. And we thank you once again for tuning in. And uh, I know that you'll be blessed again tonight. I'm really excited tonight to have with me uh, a dear friend and someone I haven't gotten to sing with or even visit with for a while, Mr. Jerry Wise over here. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about him, but you're going to love him and, and his uh, spirit and his singing. He's got a brilliant voice. And so uh, we're just going to try to lead you in some songs that uh, you know, and maybe there's a song we do tonight you don't know, and you'll learn something. But we invite you to worship with us. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. And uh, we're going to kick off things tonight with uh, an older hymn that we sang in the Baptist church that I grew up in a lot. I think, I think uh, Jerry's learning this maybe the first time today. Yeah, this is a new one for me. Yeah, this is a new one for me. <laughs> That's all right. So you, you sing it with us from home, and uh, we've got a few people in the audience here tonight. So this is At Calvary. said our special guest tonight uh, Jerry Wise on guitar and singing with me over here 
Um, first met Jerry, he moved here from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, shortly thereafter we sort of hung out and he got hooked up in the music community and eventually uh, started an organization. If you've ever had a wedding in the Austin area <laughs> or beyond, you there's, there's one of the most popular cover bands in Austin, Matchmaker. Jerry uh, formed that group uh, with Amos and uh, one of his friends and has become a very successful band, and they have several bands now. Now, Jerry's no longer part of the organization, but still sings with them. And, yeah, uh, still yeah. sing with them on the weekends and doing some weddings. And, and then Jerry also is the uh, one of the worship pastors over at uh, Covenant Presbyterian. That's right. Right off yeah. Mopac there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving it over there. Been there You've since been there 2000, a long time. 2011 is when I started. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're great people over there, and I, I love leading on Sunday mornings and of course, we're not together yet. Again, yeah, y'all aren't live be... yet. You're still broadcasting, you know, doing the, the live th- or video thing like we are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we record Friday mornings, and then we post it up on Sundays. So. Awesome. On those, I can uh, get away with making mistakes because we can always start over and re-edit. You know, this is Well, we're live here. here. We're live here. So we just go live, and whatever up, happens, okay. happens. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, too. Well, listen, Jerry, I've always not only loved your voice and your musical talent, but your spirit has always impressed me. I mean, you're a humble man. You're just an incredible person. So I want you to share. uh, Jerry's going to be leading out on these next few songs, and I want him to lead us in worship, and I'll join him and sing harmonies and this and that. But uh, sing this one for us, Blessed Assurance. Love this song, one of my favorite hymns. Absolutely. And, um, you know, the line in this one that says, Perfect Submission. All is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness and lost in His love. Uh, It just makes me think about this year and how much we've sort of had to um, just keep our hands open and trusting God in all things. Uh, But He is with us. And if we keep just praising Him, we're going to see amazing things. That's right. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. My Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising.
praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior. Praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. This next one is another favorite. I'm sure you'll want to sing along with us. I like this new version that Jerry did of Wonderful Words of Life. psalm each week because you know David was a musician and uh, wrote the book of Psalms and, and uh, most of these Psalms as I've said every week <clears throat> the reason I started reading Psalms it would be a good book for you to actually be reading right now because a lot of these Psalms David was not having a good time in his life he was crying out to God just saying God what the heck is going on you know and I think a lot of us during this COVID crisis are basically there are days when it's okay and we can be at peace and but there's days we're going God what is going on what is what's happening here and I think the Psalms speak to that and they also then in the midst of that teach us that we have to praise God in the midst of the storm and uh, the storm is hard sometimes and all of us go through them we pastors do we're we're all human and we go through stuff but Absolutely. Psalm 146 is what I'm going to read tonight. It just says, Hallelujah, my soul, praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Do not trust in nobles, in man 
who cannot save or presidents. Oh, it doesn't have that in the Bible, but we can't trust in anything in our country except God, okay? He, he really is the only one who won't let us down. When his breath leaves him, he returns to the ground. On that day, he plans, his plans die. Happy is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in him. He remains faithful forever, executing justice for the exploited and giving food to the hungry. The Lord frees prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises up those who are oppressed. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects foreigners and helps the fatherless and the widow. And he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever, Zion. Your God reigns for all generations. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray.
What a message in that song. Jesus Beautiful paid song. it all. For everybody out there listening tonight, it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you've done. You may think you're not worthy of anything. God paid, sent his son, our almighty God who we read about, sent his son to die for each and every one of you. And he cares for you, he loves you, and he wants to provide eternal life for all of you. So if you've never experienced that, Feel free to ask him in, into your heart because that's all it takes. He wants us to come before him and just say, hey, I want this life. And uh, he provided that for you through Jesus. I love that hymn, one of my favorite hymns. Mine too. Mm. A relationship with Jesus is unlike anything yes. you'll ever experience in this, in this life, in this world. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a beautiful thing, and it's something you can't really explain to someone until they've experienced it for themselves. Yeah. The, the amazing and power. I like to point out, it's not a perfect life. You know, some people think, oh, I, I'm you know, going to be holy, holy. I got to be perfect all the time. And right. we're on a journey. We're seeking. That's all we can do is just seek. And in the middle of these times, our job as Christians is to spread hope. You know, we have hope because whether we make it through this life, we're all going to, we're not going to make it through forever. Somewhere we're along the line, we're going to die. Yeah. So, but in the midst of that, we have hope in God that we're going to have eternal life with him. So it's just that song just says it all. It does. And so you're telling me, Carlton, you're not perfect. Is that right? Is oh, that my gosh. Okay. Ask these people who are live in the just, audience. Here I just want to get that on record uh, <laughs> on, the, on the camera. Oh, yeah, it is true. <laughs> my sister's listening from Abilene, Texas. She'll tell you I'm not perfect. <laughs> What's up, Abilene? <laughs> That's right. Abilene, Texas. Carla Brown and her husband, Carl, they listen every week, and they have the whole town listening, I think, now. So we shout out to y'all, and I know y'all love these old hymns, so I'm glad I can bring them to you. This is a fun one. Come on, Jerry. I let's go. Let's go. All right. We got a few people out here in the audience, too, so feel free to sing along. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood Would you over evil A victory win There's wonderful power In the blood There is power Power Wonder In the blood Of the Lamb Oh there is power Power Wonder In in the precious Blood of the Lamb Free from your passion and pride. There's power in the blood, oh, power in the blood. Coming for a cleansing to Calvary's side. There's wonderful power in the blood. Sing it. There's power, power, wonderful working power in the blood. Do service for Jesus, your King. There's power in the blood, yes, there is power in the blood. Would you live daily his praises to ring? There's wonderful power in the blood, yes. There is power, power, wonder, and power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power. In the precious blood of the Lamb. One more time. 
in the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen. Power in the blood. That's a fun one. That's fun, Jerry. It's fun singing with you. Maybe our voices blend pretty well for an old man and a young guy. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> well, we were talking earlier. You still have your hair, so that, that puts, hey, you, that hey, hey. puts us on the same level. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. <laughs> I was telling Jerry later on, uh, earlier on when we were visiting, I said, my son is your age. That makes me feel really old, okay? <laughs> anyway. 43 yeah. in October. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's me too, 43. Just right you now. look great. <laughs> look great i wish no <laughs> november i turned 68 that's scary you know every you know, every age was fine except when i got approached 60 and that got a little scary and then when i turned 60 and then i got to 65 it's like oh my goodness you know i used to think as growing up that if i, I was 65 i'd be in a nursing home that's sort of the <laughs> opinion and you're but, still moving around playing and singing and trying trying no, no we're doing great God has been good, and we're blessed. Yes, That's all I can say. So we're going to do another one for you. Love this old hymn. If you ever were in a Baptist church, you did this in the invitation time. This, and it's been done around the world. Billy Graham Crusade did a million verses of it. We always did a million verses, but just as I am. But what an amazing message in this song, because we can come to him just as we are, Jerry. So this is a beautiful arrangement. Actually, I'll give credit. Trevor Morgan, who used to be our, one of our worship leaders here, wrote this arrangement, and I think it's one of the best treatments of it I've ever heard. So hey, Carlton, let's sing it. Before, yeah. you, before you start here, I, 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 I'm singing the first verse on this one. Yes, you are. Just to remind me that yeah, first yeah. little, because it's a little bit different uh, arrangement. Oh, it's that, the little. The melody of the. Of the first. Da, 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 That's all I need. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. These young guys, you got to teach them the hymns. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> did you ever listen to Billy Graham? I mean, yes, come I, on. I, I they did. did this at every <laughs> service. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. One, two, three. Just as I am without one thing, but that the blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blood to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot, O Lamb of God, I come, I I come to your grace, God, you alone bring me to this place, so I come. Oh, I come to your mercy. 
This is a worship song. Uh, I think, I can't remember, I think, I can't remember who uh, recorded this originally, but I heard it on a worship album several years ago, and it's always been one of my favorite worship songs that just really brings you close to God, and it's, it's called Draw Me Close, so it's a prayer to God to just draw us closer to Him, and I think during this time, it's not just this time, but especially during these kind of troubling times and a lot of turmoil and a lot of ways going on, we need to just draw close to him. Because, you know, we need to realize that God hasn't gone anywhere. We're the ones that sort of move away and forget that he's calling us to him all the time. He wants us to draw close to him. And that's when he can bless us the most. And not necessarily financially or, or whatever it could be, but just the fact that he can give us peace, he can give us comfort, he can give us joy in the midst of the pain that we're going through. So I encourage you to draw close to him tonight. So we're going to sing this for you. and sit, Join with us in worship. This is our prayer.
continue that prayer. Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without
Sing that with us, that chorus. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. I want defense. My righteousness. Oh, And you know, no matter how long we live on this earth, I love this old gospel song. Um, what a day that will be when my Jesus I will see. And I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. I love this song. So here we go. Uh, do you remember what we're doing on this? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, you're singing harmony, I think, a little think, bit. So. All right, here we go. <laughs> there is cause.
Thank you for, for tuning in tonight, and I hope that it's been a blessing to you and you've had an opportunity just to take a moment to get aside from everything in your day and worship and get with God. And we do want to remind you that each and every week we're also broadcasting our services, uh, both of our services. At 9.30 a.m. we broadcast uh, live on Facebook and on uh, uh, YouTube. have a huge YouTube audience. Thank you for all of you who are doing that. Uh, that's at 9.30, the celebration service, the one I lead. And then Casey McPherson leads our Resonate service, which is at 11 a.m. So you can watch both of those. And if you miss it during the hour, watch it later on in the day. They're always available on our website. You can find that stuff and watch it. So we thank you for your support during this time. And uh, we just want to close and wrap things up tonight with uh, a couple of tunes that I think you might know. But this song always, when I think about hope and I think about what we're going through now, that the chorus of this song has become such a standard hymn. I mean, it really was written as, believe it or not, a contemporary Christian song by Bill Gaither and Gloria Gaither. Oh, way back, but it's in every hymnal now. And it says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Let's, let's sing this one, Gary. Now, let's see. I think you sing the second verse, if I recall. <laughs> I think you're right. We all just get together in the afternoon, and <laughs> after we've rehearsed, you know, it's sort of we forget what we're doing. But I think we remember that. I Here think we, we got it. <laughs> yeah. God sent his son.
Serve a great God. Trust Him. See you next week.